Hey everyone, welcome back to Rig Tag Stacking. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about the, the difference between proof coins and uh, BU coins. Uh, now, you know, it's pretty easy to see just visually uh, the difference between some of the, the BU and the proof. Uh, just showing you here uh, an American Silver Eagle and this uh, proof Canadian Silver Dollar. You can see with the Eagle that, you know, it's just a regular investment grade uh, bullion coin and it's got that matte like finish and, you know, no bells and whistles, nothing special, no privy marks, no nothing, just a regular old BU Eagle. Whereas the uh, the proof version here of the uh, the dollar, you can see it's got like a mirrored like finish. Uh, it's black now because it's just reflecting off of my phone. If I tilt it up, you can see the lights there. So yeah, it is a very uh, reflective coin. So yes, that's one of the uh, that's one of the main things, the distinguishing things about the proof coins is that mirrored like background. And in the article that I'm going to show you, it's going to go into the whole process of uh, the minting process and how it gets like that. But yeah, I like the difference there with the the frosted cow, cow skull here and the the words, the lettering there is frosted against that mirrored like border. Uh, don't get me wrong, I like the matte finish that comes with the American Silver Eagles, uh, but I do like that. Uh, that frosted look that goes with the mirrored like finish and on the back there you can see the same with the queen so i don't have too many proof coins these are actually the only two coins that are proof i have a few and they are my favorite coins that are reverse proof and these are the reverse proof maple leaves now uh, you know in reverse proof it's in the name it's common sense uh, you know how it's usually the mirrored like background is in the field where here it's the frosted background i kind of uh, i did the look of these reverse proof maples with that frosted look you can't quite see, see um, how much of the uh, the proof came out in the maple leaf there just because it does have a lot of textured detail with the the kind of veins and the the marks on the leaf but on the queen side you can see that the the mirrored like finish came through and on the border and the lettering there you can see the proof like finish and yes, I have four of the maple leaves right now, and uh, I am looking for one more specific one with the uh, the privy mark. The privy mark is just the little thing down there. This is the lunar year of the monkey. This is a World War One tank privy. The coin that I'm looking for is the Bigfoot privy. That's the the one that I is on my list. And uh, if I see it, I'm definitely going to pick it up. And if I come across any more reverse proof maples for a decent price, I'll uh, I'll pick them up too. But the the Bigfoot one is definitely one that uh, I want in my collection. Collection. But yeah, anyways, getting into today's video, I found this article that was going over the differences between the uh, BU coins and proof coins. So uh, what I'm going to do now is jump onto the computer and uh, quickly show you this, uh, this article here. Okay, so this is the article I want to talk about here. It's Provident Metals, and it says uncirculated versus proof coins. What is the difference? So going down here, it says, if you have been collecting coins for a while, then at one time or another, you have probably encountered the term proof or uncirculated coins. Both coins typically come in mint condition uh, on account of the fact that they have not been distributed to the public. Uh, in this way, both coin types are technically uncirculated. However, they are some, uh, there are some distinct differences that you should know. For starters, a proof coin usually fetches a higher premium than an uncirculated coin, and proofs are shinier and more detailed. Uh, but looks are not the only difference between proof and uncirculated coins. Each type of coin offers a unique approach to investing and uh, collecting coins. Uh, decide which approach is best for you by learning about the benefits of proof versus uncirculated coins. And so I was going down here with proof coins first. It says the U.S. Mint recognizes a proof coin as a specifically made coin distinguished by sharpness of detail, usually with a brilliant mirror-like finish. However, proof does not necessarily indicate the condition of the coin, but rather the way in which the coins are produced or manufactured. Proof coins are struck at least twice and treated with special dyes, which make their uh, features more defined, detailed, and glossy. And then going down here, it says the quality of both proofs and uncirculated coins are graded. The condition of proof is graded on a number scale, with P, uh, PR60 being perfect condition. The lower the proof grade is, the more wear and handling the coin has shown. Uh, the main reasons to buy proof are uh, appearance. Uh, proof coins that are struck twice instead of just once like regular coins uh, but this one extra strike gives the coin a, a much shinier clean f uh, looking finish and makes the uh, intricate details of the design pop most proofs can be identified by their mirror like background this attractive presentation is one of the most popular qualities of the proof 
scarcity. Now, this is one of the main reasons why the proofs are a bit more uh, you know, expensive with the premiums than the bullion. Because of the extra time and effort the mint must spend to produce proofs compared to regular coins, and since raw coins tend to represent the bulk of coin uh, sales, there are usually fewer uh, proofs made. In fact, only 5 to 20% of the total amount of uncirculated coins produced in a series are proof, making them much more rare. Because, uh, yeah, the proof coins, the, the empty planchets, the Blake planchets, they need to be hand polished before going in for the minting process. Whereas the BU, they kind of just, you know, load them up into a hopper and they just go along in the conveyor belt there. It's kind of just like an assembly line. So then it gets minted, you know, that planchet gets minted with the die, it gets pressed down, and then it only gets struck once, and then on it goes. Uh, then it gets, you know, put into tubes, into monster boxes, and then on its way. Uh, the proof needs to go uh, through a little bit more than that, like they were saying here. The, uh, the planchets themselves need to be hand polished, and the dies have to be polished as well. And uh, since they are used more than the regular BU uh, dies, you know, as far as striking, they say at least twice. So it could be more uh, depending on the, uh, the certain coin that they're making. So yeah, with the, uh, the die being used more often and it being specifically polished to get a certain finish on the coin, those dies need to be taken out and refinished and repolished as well. So that takes up time on the production and the minting and uh, that leads to the, the scarcity. You can't make many of them because it's a, it's a more time consuming process and there's more man labor that goes into it, you know what I mean? It's not just machine stamping and then you know just following along the line like the the BU this one has a, a little bit more that goes into it and the next one is collectability with their high quality presentation and rarity proof sets are often sought after by collectors this collectability is one of the best qualities of proofs and then down here value generally speaking proof coins have a higher uh, relative markup than uncirculated coins as a collector's item, proofs can be sold for more than the value of uh, raw precious metals they contain. However, the downside is they cost a little more than uncirculated coins uh, to purchase. So yeah, I'm not going to read through the entire thing here with the uncirculated coin because it's just, you know, you can go down here, cost popular, that all makes sense. You know, it's going to be cheaper than the, uh, the BU and obviously the finish of the coin is going to look different as well. It doesn't have those hand polished planchets and, you know, hand polished specific dies. So it's just going to look like the regular investment grade American Silver Eagle like you see here and like I showed you in the beginning intro there. But yes, if you do want to read through the entire article, there's not much left after that. And it says, which is better to buy? I don't know, personal preference for you. If you're just looking to stack weight and get silver at the cheapest price, then just stick with the bullion stuff. Uh, but if you are looking for different things out of your stack, if you want a certain percentage to be, you know, long-term holding and just putting it off to the side and forgetting about it, then sure, you know, just stick with the, oh, the BU and generic stuff even. But you know, if you're a flipper and you're looking to make a profit off a coin, some of the uh, some of the proof coins, like uh, like it said here, will, they'll a lot of them will have lower mintages, and uh, you know they'll have some hype around them, especially eagles. Whenever there's specialty eagles coming out, there's always a hype around them. So uh, if you're looking to you know make a little bit of a profit off of it and flip, then you might start looking at some uh, proof coins because that might yield uh, uh, a little bit better of a return when it comes time to flipping than uh, some of the uh, the BU coins that you could flip. So yeah, that's it. That was the article I wanted to talk about. I thought it was a pretty interesting uh, read here that was uh, going through the differences between the uncirculated and uh, proof coins. So yeah, that's it. That's the article that I wanted to show you there. Uh, I do know that obviously the proof and uncirculated coins, just visually, just looking at them, you can see that the proofs have a little bit more craftsmanship and detail into them. Uh, but I thought this was a pretty interesting read, kind of going a little bit of a deeper dive into what exactly makes the proof coins that much, uh, you know, rarer and uh, why they're a little bit more expensive than the, the regular BU. Now for me, I'm just looking to stack the, uh, the cheapest silver that I can get my hands on. And uh, you know what I mean? That if that means generic bars, generic coins, uh, so be it. I do like trying to get as many coins as I can uh, on sale. 
I do have some tubes of American silver eagles and maples and things like that. Uh, but for the most part, I've kind of avoided the proofs just because they are that more expensive. And uh, at the moment, I'm not really looking to do something like flip. Uh, you know, if I was looking to, uh, you know, get into the flipping market, I might look a little bit more into those lower mintage proof coins that are released because that might um, might do better on the secondary market trying to uh, flip it for a little bit of a profit. But anyways, let me know in the comment what you guys think, if you guys like proof coins and uh, you enjoy collecting them, or if you find that the, uh, the extra premiums and extra costs associated with them just don't match up to what you're getting with the, uh, the difference in the coin. For me, I really like the, uh, the reverse proof Maple Leafs and uh, the little extra cost that's associated with them, I'm fine with paying just because I really like the look of them. And uh, you know, I wouldn't necessarily collect, uh, c consider them a stacking coin. For me, that's sort of the stuff that uh, I would consider collecting. Or uh, it's not a collectible, but it's a collection that I have. And uh, I would look at it more as a collection than something uh, to actively stack, just because of those premiums. But I do love the reverse proof. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think if you guys uh, if you guys enjoy picking up both the BU and the proof coins. But yeah, rambled on long enough today. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and I uh, hope you come back for the next one. Thank you.